Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. I am Pixelated Twix, your favorite nighttime DJ. Excuse me while I just adjust my mic. Sorry about the long, um, the long length of time. The long length of time. The length of time it's been between recordings. Um, if you can kind of tell in my voice, I have a bit of the remnants of a cold that I was dealing with. And then on top of that, my dog um, had to have emergency surgery uh, last week, and so um, I was dealing with that as well. Or this week. It's this week, yeah. Um, so right now she is laying at my feet with a cone, a sh cone of shame on her head. I hate to laugh, because it's not funny, because poor thing, but it's also funny. Um, so yeah, we just cleared out this area. Unfortunately, I did not press record like I thought I did, and so it did not capture the gameplay, but um, basically we went ahead and cleared this out. There was some kind of demonic force, as you could probably tell with all the corpses uh, running around, running amok, and so uh, we are here um, getting ready to leave, um, trying to leave. I, I this was this was a bit of a pain. This I, I'm not gonna lie. I had to seek some help um, to figure out how to get out of here uh, or where to find the key because there's a key that I had been kind of running around and I I must have missed a door or something and like it was like quite simple once I found my way uh, to the proper area. But no, it <laughs> seems like I am lost <laughs> trying to get out of this place. What? The what? So can I go out this way? Well, obviously I can. Maybe this is the way. Maybe. Um, Varric, my man, my buddy old pal, can you open this? How could this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There was a door right there. There was a door right there. So this is a gallery. Was this where we came in? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. Why am I so lost in this place? I feel like this might be the way out. Vestibule, yes. Yes, no, yes. Okay. Um, what I plan on doing today is giving you an extra long episode. I'm thinking that I'm going to try to record this as long as possible and do no cuts of what, not cuts, but um, basically not um, do any sort of um, splitting of the episode. I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep recording just because it's been a, a couple weeks since I released a Dragon Age episode. And so I want to go ahead and get out of the Emerald Graves. That is my goal. We've been in here way too long, and that's just ridiculous. Now, this is a quest. Motherly encouragement. A young woman fell from a cliff to her death under a mysterious circumstance. Okay, I remember this. We found a body, I guess, underneath here in the water. So now we finally reached this part. Um, let's get this Crystal Grace. Let's try not to. I think the body was down here. Maybe it wasn't the water. Maybe it was down here. So let's read this. Maybe this is what. Ooh. I mean, how rude was that? How rude was it? Let's read this. Beta's Travel Journal, 17 Herring. I don't want to go to Farrelson. I have to leave everything my paintings, the cat, and worst of all, Mother's little garden. It's been such a comfort to me since her passing. I don't know what I'll do, but Liesel has little eaves to think about it, and the war threatens to consume more of Orlay every day. 20 herring. The cat had her kittens the day we left. Make her lift it, look after her. I cannot. We couldn't even take one for Eve's. Even though he begged, they were too small. Their mother, they would have died without their mother. Four went to merch. I'm so tired. We spotted a house in the forest, abandoned. There's a roof and some hay, and Liesel agrees that we can stay here for a day or two to recover. Later in winter merch. Liesel and Eves have been gone a long time. I haven't seen them in days. Mother made a bed for them upstairs, and I suppose Eves is still young. Young one needs their young ones need their sleep. 
It's so good to have Mother with us on this long journey. She always knows what to do. The day it rained. It rained today. Mother and I played a hiding game in the house. I found Liesel. She didn't like it when I found her. She was screaming about Eve's. I looked at what I wrote before, and I guess there was an Eve's. I guess there is an Eve's. I think he's our dog. Mother told Liesel to be quiet. She was ruining the game. Waterfall. Night. Mother says I bore her. She's just sick again, like she was back home. I don't tend to her well then. I didn't tend to her well then. She'd gotten sicker because of me. Not this time. I asked her what she needed. She said there's a waterfall close by and a wild crystal gray shrub growing by its edge. She wants me to get rose hips for her tea. So it sounds like, well, it looks like um, this basket was for this uh, crystal grace here, um, which we managed to pick. But she was sent out on an errand and maybe she just fell by accident. Um, I don't really know what's going on here. Like Eve's, I thought was maybe a person, but now it sounds like maybe it was a dog family dog but I don't know something that's strange that I, I have no idea kind of want to look that up and see if maybe I can find something out about the woman that fell and maybe like more of her backstory so we've got a couple more things to do and then I want to make sure I find that dragon before I leave um so we've got these shards I'm not gonna record this I'm not gonna record this but I'm definitely gonna see if I can find wait a minute Hmm. Okay, I have a feeling that this rift might be where the dragon is. What's over here? Okay, last wishes. Maybe not. There's still a lot to this map. Okay, so let's head down this way. Oh, yes. And hopefully I can find my way over there because I think we were trying to get over there before and got caught up at uh, the chateau. And... Um, then we got stuck there for a while, so let me just grab this rash fine. And all right, let me figure out where in the world do I need to go? Um Briato step. I don't I don't have I been over here? See, this is this is where I got messed up. It's just like a... So I can't go this way. Or can I? No, there's no way out. Okay. Well, how am I supposed to get... Let's get this obsidian. Uh, how am I supposed to get... Can you tell me how to get... How to get to Sesame Street? Let's equip some potions. Okay, that's all we needed to do. Just touch the table. Um, ooh, this is a long drop. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not drop down. Maybe not do that. Maybe not. Let's go this way. Is there stairs? There's no stairs. What? Okay, this is a safe spot. This is a safe spot. Um... Okay, this is a little treacherous. None of this looks familiar. Gross. But, okay. I think the Emerald Grades is gorgeous, but I am thoroughly done with trying to find my way around this place. Ooh, it's the worst, um, but it's gorgeous. So maybe if we come back through this way, um, we can, is that, where is everybody? They must, oh, that's right. They moved to that other area. Oh my gosh. Okay. It is like eerily quiet over here. So I'm thinking that this might be the way to our, um, little, Ten point. So, our waypoint. Um, is there any way I can like fast travel over there? Where's it at even? 
Oh my gosh, we are way off. What? Well, there's a rift over here, so let's just get the rift done and then clear that out, get the rift, and then I'll have to figure out another way. What I might just do is try to clear this up myself and then come back because um, I'm tired of the emerald graves, and I'm sure you are too. <laughs> so um, let me do that. Let me get these rifts cleared out and the other stuff. And then if I find my way to the um, cave that I was looking for, I'll hop back on. Apparently there has been a massive bear on the rampage. No, thank you, unless you got something in there. Actually, I don't have any room for any more loot. But uh, apparently there's a bear that is loose and um, killing and pillaging, <laughs> apparently. So, uh, oh gosh. Oh, oh, there it is. It's not just one bear, y'all. Old scarred paw. Oh, it's got a babe. It's got, oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I, you're in his territory. Oh my gosh, there's a whole slew of them. Oh, great. Great. Get the babies. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to use this. The babies, it's the babies. Oh my gosh. This is horrific. This might take me a minute. Oh my goodness. Get back. There. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. to do this. Let's see. Spring of life train. Really? That's it? I risk my life for a gray? What's in here? Oh, there's bones. Well, these are animal bones. There are no human bones in here. So... Honestly, they were impeding on their territory. So I would have just packed up. Now I had to kill four cubs and they're, oh. They did kill somebody. Mm. Uh, okay, well, I guess they did have to go down as once a bear tastes uh, human flesh. Yeah, that was it, okay, well. Um, that was done. So now we need to head back this way, this way. And, um, I need to get these shards and this, and then I will meet you guys here. Okay. Holy moly. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, this is going to be a mistake. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. He jumped on me. Oh, he hit me. He's gonna step on me again. Yo, oh, there's a bunch of them. Cassandra, please, please, please save us. Varric, get out the way. Varric, Varric, get out. Oh, there's, there's stuff and things. Dorian, please. <laughs> what is this going on? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, this isn't good. We're being stepped on. There. Cassandra. Dorian. Me. Oh. What? <laughs> this was a mistake. This was such a mistake. Oh my goodness. Sorry. 
Eric. Eric, get out the way. Oh my gosh. What? Stop the dirt. Okay. This is out of this is out of hand. This is Okay. <laughs> I think we I think we're alright now. We may be okay, I don't know. They're probably immune to everything. Oh, he's gonna throw a rock. He's throwing rocks. He's throwing rocks at Cassandra. Why am I so close? Get, get back. There's a reason why you're ranged. Stay in range. Oh, he's... Okay. He's down. He's down. Get him. <laughs> How, many, how many more of there are you? Just gonna refresh. Cassandra, she's good. She's good. The more damage she takes, the better off she is. Ma'am, did you hear what I heard? Oh, gosh. I think I just heard the dragon. I want no parts of y'all. No parts. We are done here. We are done. What do we have? That's a graze. I feel like I saw the dragon fly over. I don't know if you guys saw that big shadow fly overhead, but uh, we might be close. It would make sense. I don't know where the heck I'm at. Um, I did say that I was gonna meet you over this way. Um, oh, there's a bunch of pyramids. What are these? Oh, look at that. There's more. Oh, there's more, y'all. I don't feel like messing with you people. I'll just steer clear of you and your brothers. Oh, there's a bunch of y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not even reading these. I'm scared. Oh, it's a bear. Just, just get the heck up up. Oh, fight. They fighting. Let them fight. Let them fight. Let them fight. The bear is following us. Let them fight. Just let them fight. This is the Dalish area. Just let them fight. The bear is still coming this way. At this point, I don't know what to do. Are they the red Templar, the giant? The, it's it's a match to the death. Um, you know what? We're gonna mind our business. We're gonna sit here and eat our food, and 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 mind our business. Oh gosh, I hope I didn't touch her toe. Um, yep. We're just minding our business. We we don't need to get involved. Just walk away slowly. Let's get this here. Just walk away. That's right. We don't have to get in every skirmish. Let them kill themselves. I'm not even reading those. There's a there's a rift. We said we're gonna meet over this way. This is where we're meeting. So let's take care of this. Oh, this might be a mistake. What level is he? Oh, he's level 20. Oh my gosh. What was that even? He's level 20. 
Oh, this is this is bad. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's go. Let's go. Just go. Just go. This is a disaster. Okay. Where where am I? Where's my body? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? It's even happening. I don't think. Oh, what level is that dragon? Yeah. Um. You know what? This may be the time. The time that we. Oh, we take our leave. This. This might be. This might be. This might be a good idea. I think what we'll do is come back. Um, we've got these two things here. The dragon is out this way. We can come back. Not a big deal. I understand we are in you guys' territory. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back. We will uh, regroup at, um, at um, Skyhold. And um, yeah. I'll see ya. Safe and sound in Skyhold. Let's see if there's been any upgrades. You can see there's some scaffolding going up. Look, some of the stuff has been cleaned up a little bit. Oh, so this is the part that I enjoy. Let's talk to this guy. He's new. It's looking uh, good. Not yeah. good enough, but good. Yeah, it's, we stopped it. losing at least. Faster than you thought. Admit it. I admit it. So one thing that I do like about this area is you can actually kind of customize a few things like the tapestries you can customize and the um, the backdrop here with the stained glass. You can customize this throne or the, you know, seat of judgment, I guess. You can customize. Yep. So uh, you can basically, to your liking, like if you are a Taventer um, origin, not Taventer origin, but Canari origin, there are some... Uh, things for that and so on and so forth for Reldon uh, she's Dalish so she, maybe she'll put some Dalish tapestries up now these little mosaic pieces on the wall these are from our collection um, and I think they're throughout the castle and it does look like there's some things that have opened up so people have started moving about um, like Vivian's upstairs I think a few people have also a few more people have also moved in I know Solas is in here already um back i can't remember where he's at he's either here or here so let's talk to this guy and he can probably explain to us hello inquisitor honored to help with these whatever they are let's talk honored inquisitor gotzi sturhal did my part on the walls and now i'm on this strange collection you've brought us don't know it's worth to the fight exactly but it's good workmanship um, yeah, let's ask. Any ideas about the origins of these reliefs? To Vinter, early. It's in the tool marks, the grain. That's hard dust mined from the Hundred Pillars, if I know anything. Oh, I suppose the scene is probably full of to Vinter robes, too. The Hundred Pillars? Damnedest things. Massive spires that aren't stone. It's like a mortar. Don't know more than that. Strong, though. Do you have insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Tell you what. You finish one, and I'll write it up. Who better, right? A good dwarven perspective. Where did you learn your skills? Orzammar. Carved a few statues in my day. And before you ask, yes, I chose to leave. I carved a paragon who turned out to be a sodding madwoman. Couldn't stand looking at it. The memory of a dwarf, right? Another time. Best of the vein, Inquisitor. So when he was talking about the carving of a paragon, so in the Dwarven um, culture, they have these um, people they call paragons. These are dwarves, special dwarves that have done special things that have changed the um, trajectory of Dwarven culture. So there was uh, a dwarf that created this massive forge that created these golem like dwarves um, and so that he was a paragon and then there's another paragon 
who was like a blacksmith or something, and she was like the master of blacksmithing. And she went mad um, because she was looking for this forge, this uh, the ultimate forge that created golems. Now, she thought she was doing um, the, the work of... <laughs> quote unquote, I don't even want to say that. She thought that she was doing what was best for her people and ended up um, doing just the opposite. So, um, yeah, that was in Dragon Age Origins. Um, You actually end up going into Orzammar and finding out what happened to her, going into the Deep Roads. Um, If I even decide to play that, I don't know. Um, Dragon Age Origins is definitely a lot darker than Inquisition, which is kind of strange. You would think that um, you would think that present day iterations of the game would be a little bit darker. Maybe the new one, uh, Dragon Age, the new Dragon Age that's coming out might be. But this one definitely had some tough parts to watch. But I would say Dragon Origins, out of all the ones that I've played, there was some some parts in there. I was like, man, this there are some hard decisions that you need to make in um, Dragon Age Origins. Very dark decisions. Um, that are life changing for a lot of people. So, but I digress. That's what that was about. That's what he was referring to was this paragon. Um, I forget her name. It's not Bianca. Bianca is um, Varric's crossbow, but um, she was a love. She was the wife of one of the characters that you end up adding to your party. So, yeah. Anyways, that's that little bit of history there. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to hit up this throne because this is where the seat of the uh, Inquisitor, this is the seat of the Inquisitor where you judge criminals. Um, Yeah, kind of, kind of a quote unquote godlike when you think about it, this, the, the, the white throne of judgment uh, for those of us who are Christian. So let's sit down. Show you what I'm talking about. Impressive, is it not? Fit for a leader, meant to show influence and the burden of it. It is where the Inquisition will sit in judgment, where you will sit in judgment. Who will I be judging exactly? Those who have done wrong. You will know of them, at the very least. All this presumes they have survived their initial encounter with you, of course. Okay, so anybody that um, I have fought over my adventures may or may not end up here. Still more lives in my hands. You are a beacon of law, Inquisitor, as others retreat from responsibility. But this needn't be bloody. The Inquisition's sovereignty is derived from the allies who validate it. You are both empowered and bound. Justice has many tools. If their application is clever, execution may even seem merciful by comparison. So with great power comes great responsibility. So let us begin. Is there anyone I should judge? Take the throne when you're ready. We will bring him before you. So we're ready to judge. Usually this, well, the idea that you can sit here indicates that there is someone for you to judge. Now, when she says that it doesn't have to be bloody, you do have a choice of how, uh, what to do with the people that you've captured. Um, And we will find out who we have. I may have multiple people. I don't know. It's been quite a while since I started playing the game, so we'll see. This was a surprise. After you return from the bogs, we discovered this man attacking. The building. With a... goat. (laughs) Chief Movran the Under. He feels slighted by the killing of his Avar tribesmen, who repeatedly attacked you first. What should we do with him? Where should he go? You answered the death of your clan with a goat? (laughs) A courtroom? Unnecessary. You killed my idiot son. 
And I answered, as is my custom, by smacking your holdings with goat's blood. Don't look at me. No foul. You meant to murder Tevinters, but got feisty with your inquisition. A red-headed mother guarantees a brat. Do as you've earned, Inquisitor. My clan yields. My remaining boys have brains still in their heads. <laughs> okay, so he basically is saying that, okay, you've shed blood, you've shed of our blood. I'm in return, whatever culture that is, of throwing goat's blood against the building at shore. But he understood that his son was foolish um, for, it sounds like he may have multiple wives, I don't know, but um, from the comment about a redheaded wife. But um, so he realized that his son was foolish and doesn't sound like there's any love lost here. Um, so I don't know, drive them out of my lands, I'm not sure. It's called a gibbet. Arm and exile him to Tevinter. See, I feel like she would say this because she has this thing. If she's Dalish, she's going to have this thing about Tevinter. Um, drive them out of my lands. I don't know. Chip it. Mm. I think I'm going to arm him. It seems our conflict was accidental, Chief Movran, but it can't be repeated. I banish you and your clan, with as many weapons as you can carry, to Tevinter. <laughs> My idiot boy got us something after all. Okay. <laughs> we won the approval of, it looks like, everybody. So... Judging from that, you will understand that any choices that I make could cause disapproval or approval on from my companions. Um, some of them greatly will disapprove, will greatly disapprove of my decisions. Probably. I don't know. Uh, so we did open up some more customization for the throne. I do not like this throne. This is the Inquisition customization for it. It just, I don't like it. And I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we might fix that too. So let's sit back down. See who else we have to judge. You recall Geryon Alexius of Tevinter. Ferelden has given him to us as an acknowledgement of your aid. The formal charges are apostasy, attempted enslavement, and attempt in assassination on your own life, no less. Tevinter has disowned and stripped him of his rank. You may judge the former magister as you see fit. Okay. So let me backtrack a little bit. The the Avar guy, do you remember when we went out into the mire, the fallow mires, and the we got challenged by the Avar, the fallow mires were all those like undead were rising up out of the swamps and things like that. That was the area where the Inquisition soldiers had been kidnapped in prison and we had to go get them and we had to kill like this this kid or this guy. That was what that was about. This, if you remember, we were we were sent into the future to see oh, sorry, I hit the mic. We were sent into the future to see if um to, and then we saw what was going to happen or the possibility of what would, would happen if we would um, continue on the path that we were going or if we didn't defeat um, Alexius or what have you. So now we made the decision to capture Alexius or we have Alexius in our custody and now I have to decide what to do with him. So this is the part where I could probably get a lot of disapproval or approval depending on my decisions. I don't know what to do here. I have a few options, I'm sure. I don't remember what they are. So we'll just go with it. Uh, these are grave charges. The apostasy sticks out. It's a long time coming. I don't know if she would be as vindictive or if she would hold on to vengeance. Um, for her, apostasy would stick out, but maybe not. Maybe this would be the appropriate response. 
I remember what would have happened to Thedas if his treachery had succeeded. Mm, yeah. I couldn't save my son. Do you think my fate matters to me? Will you offer nothing more in your defense? You've won nothing. The people you saved, the acclaim you've gathered. You'll lose it all in the storm to come. Render your judgment, Inquisitor. Okay, so we can... Oh, we can make him tranquil. As a mage. I can make him research magic. I can execute him, imprison him, or make him serve Red Cliff's mages. I kind of want him researching magic. Okay, so another good thing about this, when we capture people, we can actually use them to our benefit or execute them, or um, in this case, make him tranquil, which means I would remove his ability to even use any of his powers or remove his powers altogether as magic, ability to use magic. Um, I could send him to Redcliffe to serve the mages there because, you know, that's basically what he did. Um, it would be kind of the punishment fits the crime. I kind of want him researching magic. I don't want to imprison him. And I don't want to execute him. I think that this would be counterproductive. So I think I want him researching magic. I don't Your know magic if this is going to go well. Alexius. I could use people like you. Your sentence is to serve under guard as a researcher on all things magical for the Inquisition. No execution. <sighs> Very well. Okay. I kind of figured. Sarah disapproved, and so did... Um, who else disapproved? Well, at least I, I think Iron Bill disapproved as well, but Sarah doesn't like magic, so she's going to disapprove of anything that I do. That's even for magic, but we actually need him. What, like it or not, we need him. Okay, so let's head over to our table because this will also unlock. Let's go up here. Let's just go up here and see if we can see what else is new, what's opened up in the castle. So this is my quarters, and I don't know if this is even remotely finished, but it might be. It looks like it might be. It is. They have certainly spared no expense. Yeah, and so we can change this up too. You can change the bed. Um, you can you can buy uh, new beds and furnishings. Um, this wardrobe can change. You can change your look here. What you look like walking around Skyhold because these you know these are your comfy loungewear. All right, let's see what's over here. So we acquired a recipe for Scout Garden Courtyard Upgrade and Main Watch Hours. So we can upgrade and customize that area too. This is just goes upstairs. Not much up here. But this view. Look at that view. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Okay. So. Oh, what, what's this? Oh, I think this is from our, the thing that we picked up. Okay, so we can't jump down, per se. There's no, um, no, there's no fall damage here, but I don't think you can jump down. So we're going to go back to the main hall. Um, I want to go to the, um, the war table. I think it's, yeah, it's through here. We could talk to Josephine, but I don't want to do that quite yet. Um, and I want to make sure I have gotten additional things unlocked. Also, there was a place over in the Storm Coast that we weren't able to get to. And I think we have to unlock it here at the war table. Pretty sure we do. So I want to make sure I get that done because that is imperative. So I want to go ahead and open up Deft Hands Fine Tools. Because there's places that we weren't able to get into because of that. Um, and we have an additional perk. Um, arcane knowledge, optimal cutting, eagle eye. Uh, secrets. No, let's go back. Let's get some knowledge. Connections, maybe. Sterling reputation. Thanks to a few well-placed acquaintances and a carefully crafted reputation. Merchants will pay in the Inquisition 10% more for items sold to them. A favor for a favor. 
Um, rare stocks. Nobility knowledge. I kind of want knowledge. Historical knowledge. And plus we get XP for reading stuff. Um, this increases our inventory. Let's just do historical knowledge for now. And... Okay, now let's hit Ferelden up. Um, so we did this a long time ago. Sister Liliana, after a few close calls, we managed to find where the Darkspawn are emerging on the Storm Coast. If you seal their access to the surface, Ferelden's coast will be... We'll see fewer of them, Thornton. Okay. So I think we have another area. Skyhold does seem more secure than Haven. Only if we have the numbers to defend it. A place like this serves no purpose without enough people to make the running worthwhile. Okay, so there's a weapon here. Inquisitor, I have no idea what to say. Scholars have debated whether Tirida's legendary axe was an axe set with crystal, an axe with a magically enforced crystalline head, or perhaps even just a very polished axe. But apparently the word translated from the ancient language commonly uh, taken to be axe, in fact, merely means hafted weapon. It is possible that translations of the saga have been edited to omit evidence that Tirida, bright axe, may have been used using what seems uh, what seems from all appearances to be a staff as would more commonly be used by a mage. I apologize for my confusion in this matter. I will endeavor to be more diligent in my translations in the future. Yours, Sister Dorcas Guerin. Okay, so we did get a staff. Yeah, there's some coin. I haven't done this in a while. Sorry. I know this may be a little boring. Um, let's see. There was, we did that, Fallon Meyer, resources, resources, that's Shadows Over Denerim. I thought there was a spot. Oh, uh, this is, okay, so that's DLC. We might want to do that. Mm. All right, so this is our specializations. Let's go ahead and do that. Dorian's request. Let's do this. Now that you're in charge, there's something I thought I'd bring up. There are Venatory mages out there lurking in the wilderness. This comes as no surprise to you since you can't swim a dead cat without hitting one of the... Oh, you can't swing a dead cat without hitting one of Corpheus's... Corpheus's? Yeah, minions. These particular Venatory have additional uh, significance to myself. For one, I know them personally. I would call them friends, except that would imply I didn't want them dead, which I do. Since I have an idea of where they might be, thanks to an investigation I be began before coming south, I thought we could put our heads together and track them down, at which point they would sneer something at you into Venter and you would be forced to kill them, which makes everyone happy. You for eliminating a potential threat, me for eliminating men and women too stupid and short-sighted to be permitted to continue breathing or permitted continued breath they would be less happy but who cares about them up to you my lady Inquis inquisitor dorian i love it i love dorian okay so um we're going to let's see let's look into this carefully and quietly we do not wish to alert the venatory to our awareness of their existence hmm Let's use Liliana. Inquisitor. Um. Hmm. Okay, we did this already. Um, gain Orzammar's friendship. We received a message from Orzammar, knowing an ancient darkspawn threatens Thedas. King Hirama officially declared his support for the Inquisition. Josephine. So let's. Let us begin. She's the only one we can use. Um, and I want to open up the special... No! Okay, I guess we use all of them. Powerful price? So we can only use this one. A formal document with impeccable filigree. It is time. The Inquisitor... It is time. The Inquisitor commands a small kingdom. If it is time to exercise it is, it is time to exercise the weight of her influence there remained uninvolved and uncommitted lords and ladies bands and arls where they could not be engaged with plight or passion they can be compelled 
through mercenary means, but there must be a display. Make it known that the Inquisition, Inquisition has weight and the boons and the dispensations of the powerful will be open to you. There, thereafter, she need not curry influence. She can simply buy it. The esteemed Ferris, the representative. Okay. All right. So that's Cullen. Um, so I guess whoever I used for my other, either Liliana or Josephine, which I think it might be Josephine, I can't do this. That sucks. Not sure. Yeah. All right. Um, not sure how long this will be. So I guess we'll have to come back to that. Um, let's see. What can we do here? There's nothing here we can do, so let's go this way. And um, I'm gonna do some talking. I'm gonna do that. So let's talk to Josephine. And let's see what's going on here. Inquisitor, I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we are to receive any visitors of distinction. Okay, yeah. It certainly wouldn't do for the Inquisition to appear... overly shabby. We've only just now convinced everyone we are precisely what Deiras requires. The mages are showing great trust in you. They need to feel safe. After that battle with Corypheus, how could anyone not feel perfectly safe? I can't stop dwelling on the day he attacked our camp. Do you know who first leapt to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first blast of fire. So many people turned to ash. Um... Definitely wish I'd saved more lives. I'm troubled by it as well. Here. We lost far too many good people to that monster. I'm sure they'll find rest with the Maker. Well, before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lady. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. Hmm. So this is where you can start fighting with Josephine. I will not. Um, let's see. No need to be all business. You don't have to be so formal just because I'm Inquisitor now, Josephine. Our allies and guests should see you treated with every courtesy, Inquisitor, especially considering the newness of your office. Fortunately, after your courage at Haven, it's no difficult task to do so. Okay, so let's see who else we can talk to. Um, let's not talk to Solus. Solus, we, what is this? Construction report, request to fight. Workers finishing the banner replace, I mean, our banner placements are requesting more important tasks. Several wish to train with swords so they can fight more directly serving the Inquisition. They travel to join a war, not dress up a keep. Can't say I disagree, Foreman Charisse. Our enemy cut a hole in the sky seen everywhere. We look upon it from below, but it need not humble us. We may fight because we are many. We may are many because the Inquisitor, Inquisitor inspires. My gosh, why can't I say that word? The Inquisitor inspires because of her growing legend. Part of this legend is what the masses find on arrival. That is the job of your workers, not vanity, but veneration. Not impulse, but elevation. Their skill as workers is great is a greater th threat to the enemy than their number in half-trained soldiers. Later, Montelier. Okay, Josephine. She has a way with words. Um. Hmm. Lost three shipments. It's Let's still go this way. We'll get this is Solas. Actually. Who do you think makes it happen? We'll get them back. What's? Can we? Talk to baby in. I think we have to go this way. Yeah. I have to go this way to come upstairs to talk to baby in. And there she is. Look. So pretty. What is this? 
paint, plaster, paint, plaster, tile, plaster, stone. Previous occupants have redressed over and over. Most are solid. Some would, I would strip down to the stone. The strength of the place is the foundation. Are we here for the long term or is the Inquisition temporary? Amazon Masonry. Do it right. The Inquisition is only temporary if we fail. And we're not failing the Inquisition. Inquisitor. Sir Morris Quartermaster. Okay. Let's talk to Vivian. Yes? I want to help the circle? Is there anything I can do to help your efforts at restoring the circle? Do I? After the circles fell, their libraries were plundered by scavengers. A thousand years of recorded knowledge in the hands of bandits. It makes me sick to think of it. I've received news that some tomes have been located, if you are interested in writing this wrong. Okay, I can help with that. I'll look into it for you. If you can take care of this matter, the circle would be in your debt. I'm not sure she'd really want to help the circle, but this is like for reputation as well. See, here's some of the mosaic pieces I've collected. But um, let's see what's out here. So this is where Liliana's hanging out. Dorian's out here. We talked to Fiona. Um, how do I get back down? So this is the only way? Yeah. Oh, no. It's this way. Okay. So we didn't talk to Iron Bull last time, so let's do that. And I don't know if I talked to Blackwall either, but I know we didn't talk to Iron Bull. So let's talk to him. And then we fight. Not so standard. Yeah, there he is. And Cassandra. Stefan finally there died. Is. It was a blessing, really. He's been in so much pain since Haven. He was out of his mind at the end. Smiled, said he smelled his mother's turnip stew, and slipped away. Mm. Inquisitor, huh? Well, you've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. Okay. What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on. It'll be worth your time, I promise. Evening. Iron Bull. My merc band just joined up. Tanner. I'm from Jader. Well, Nio Jader. Mira. I was gap captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. She doesn't talk much. Huh. So, you ready to kill some demons, or Venatori, or whatever that Corypheus asshole is? This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. Hmm. Well, long as I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. I don't sing the chant of light as much as I should. But you can't see something like that and not believe. Well, Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option, but a few faces might help. I knew some of the soldiers felt like that, but to actually hear it... It's hard to be just an idea sometimes. That's all you are to most of them. It's why you could stand right in front of them without being recognized. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that, no matter what comes next. Harding. Scott Harding. Your worship. What's new? What's been going on? Seeker Cassandra came through here, looking like a storm cloud. Uh oh. That's just her face, though, isn't it? Oh Take boy. Care. I think I know what happened. Actually, let's go up here. We're supposed to meet uh, Varric on the ramparts, and um, 
before me too. Majestic. How is a place like this ever lost? I know now. Look at this. I mean, it's gorgeous. I think those I think those are watchtowers out there. Anyways, um, let's go this way. Let's read this. Hard in high town. Okay, so we might read that whole thing. When I reached down, my dagger was gone. Just gone. Know where I found it? In a barrel. The thing was filled to the brim with daggers. I've got the strangest feeling. I know someone took it right off my belt, but I can't recall who. Oh, it's you guys. Okay. I'm like, uh... <laughs> Okay, this is Cullen. Looks like we have a quest. Let's talk to him. Inquisitor, I've found where the Red Templars come from. They're in full redoubt. The knights were fed Red Lyrium until they turned into monsters. Samson took over after their corruption was complete. How do you know Samson? He was a Templar in Kirkwall until he was expelled from the Order. I knew he was an addict, but this. Red Lyrium is nothing like the Lyrium given by the Chantry. Its power comes with a terrible madness. The Red Templar's swarming haven were proof enough. We cannot allow them to gain strength. The Red Templars still require Lyrium. If we find their source, we can weaken them and their leader. Where do we begin? Caravans of red lyrium are being smuggled along trade roads. Investigating them could lead to where it's being mined. If you confront them, be wary. Anything connected to Samson will be well guarded. Okay, so that might actually unlock um, the area that we need to go to um, in on Storm Coast, but let's talk to him again. Oh, more cutscenes. We're behind a little bit. As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. Whatever it is, I'm willing to listen. Right. Thank you. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Cullen, if this can kill you... It hasn't yet. After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. I trust Cassandra. I respect your decision. Are you okay? Let's ask him if he's okay. Are you in pain? I can endure it. I respect your decision. Thank you for telling me. I respect what you're doing. Yeah. Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. Speaking of Cassandra, I definitely want to go talk to her, but let's see if we have one more cutscene with him, because we're pretty behind. Yes? Um, tell me more about Samson. You and the Red Templar's leader seem to have personal history. When I arrived in Kirkwall, Samson and I shared quarters. He seemed a decent man at first. Knight Commander Meredith later expelled Samson for erratic behavior. He ended up begging on Kirkwall streets. He committed further crimes, but managed to evade the Order's justice. Now Samson serves Corypheus as his loyal general. Mm, why would he serve? Why do you think Samson joined Corypheus? He had a chronic lyrium addiction. He spent every last coin buying it from local smugglers. Perhaps Corypheus flattered his vanity, gave him purpose as well as Lyrium. Perhaps that's all it took. Maybe it's a good thing then that 
Colin decided to stop taking lyrium, I must pity him. It sounds like Samson had a miserable life. The Order expelled him, but he had choices. He could have found another path. I don't understand how he became so powerful. Even with Red Lyrium, Samson's glory days are long behind him. So, I mean, I, I think she does truly pity him, and that would be my sentiment um, personally. When you see people that are um, addicts of any sort or um, just going through things um, and using other things to cope, my, our, our like, I want to say our, our natural response to people like that is to judge, but instead, honestly, I think we should be pitying them. Um, not in a way that tsk, tsk, but pitying them with the um, idea of sympathy that, you know, that could be me going through whatever they're going through and how would I want someone to react to me? All right, so, or to my situation. Um, let's go talk to Varric, see what he's up to. Because Varric is always up to something. All right. So, customize the champion of Kirkwall or default. So, I'm going to go ahead and customize the champion of Kirkwall into the one that I had. Um, so, actually, outside of... Let's just customize... Um, I mean, there's not much I, I want to change, I suppose. Maybe your hair skin tone, yes, because um, complexion. She was a little bit older, the champion. Not that much older. Um, her eye color... Make it dark. Maybe brown. Hair. Um, let's see. No. I'm thinking she was a, a rogue. I don't like that haircut at all. At all. Let's save that. And. Okay. I think let's leave it like that. Tattoos. This is like the, the blood smear across the face. That is like the default um, for the champion. Um, let's leave it. Let's leave it. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. You've already dropped half a mountain on the bastard. I'm sure anything I can tell you pales in comparison. Corypheus has already killed the Divine along with countless others, and he'll kill a lot more unless we stop him. You've already sealed the breach. That's damned impressive. I could barely get my friends to stop fighting. Still, if you think I can help... Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. Hmm, is this reversible? Yeah. If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible, but we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. 
Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. What were you investigating? If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully, my friend and the Wardens will know more. Hmm. Thank you. It's worth a shot. This is bad for the Wardens. I think it is. If Corypheus has corrupted the Wardens, it may be too late to save them. I understand. I'll do whatever's necessary to stop him. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. Um, investigate. You fought Corypheus. You said you thought you killed Corypheus. The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Hmm. Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back, or maybe it's all Tevinter magic. But he was dead, I swear it. Hmm. Where have you been? And where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up and the Exalted March never came. Tell me about Anders. Why would she know about Anders? Well, let's ask. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just an Anders. He was crazy. By the end, there was nothing left in him. Except this insane need to start a war, no one could win. Hmm. All right. Uh, why are you alone? I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? My sister's a Grey Warden. I had my friend Aveline take her as far from Orlea as possible. When all the Wardens started acting strangely, I had to keep my family safe. Sebastian is the Chantry advisor in Starkhaven. The throne is still in contention there. Without him, it would be open war among the noble families. He'd have dropped everything to come with me. But he'd have hated himself for doing it. And what has Varric told you? I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general. But he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. Okay. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. Okay, so, um, hmm. To kind of unpack what happened there, she. She is the, um, the hero for the. Well, the. The protagonist for Dragon Age 2. And she. There's nothing, like, really special about her. Her family, um, fully. Ferelden when the blight happened and they ended up in Kirkwall and just chaos ensued. Um, not to have any spoilers or anything like that, but she was giving like a brief history of what was going on with her friends. Anders being a mage, an angry mage, um, that basically is one of the reasons why we are here. Um, why Corypheus, not why Corypheus is a thing, but why there's a war between mages and the Templars. So all of this steam rolling into this whole massive tumultuous battle between life and death. Um, and then, of course, we have um, the mention of um, Bethany, her sister. Um, that was a decision that I made in my playthrough. I'm not going to give any details on that. And then um, there was the Corypheus thing. She encountered Corypheus. Uh, Corypheus was sealed. Corypheus was sealed in a prison by her father's blood. I believe he was a warden or some sort. Something was with the, the family bloodline. I can't remember exactly what it was. But he ended up escaping that. They fought him. He died. He's back. 
not sure how, if he's a dark spot or whatever it was, or whatever he is. Um, and then she mentioned, um, I forget who else she mentioned. Either way, Cassandra's been looking for Hawk. Um, Varric's been lying. He knew where Hawk was all this time. So now let's go talk to Cassandra. This is the best time to talk to her now. So let's see what she has to say. Um, she was right. over here in the Back. corner. There she is. The spiderwebs help stop the bleeding, and they prevent wounds from getting infected. Gather as many as you can. The strangest thing, though, I can't recall where I heard that. I think I remember a young man. Okay. So let's talk to Cassandra. You knew where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. You kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Intervene. Stay out of it. Intervene. Hey, enough! You're taking his side? I said enough! We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. First, Liliana and I searched for the hero of Ferelden, but she had vanished. Then, we looked for Hawk, but she was gone too. We thought it all connected, but no. It was just you. You who kept her from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy. Varric's not at fault here. What's done is done. Yeah. Varric's not responsible for what happened at the Conclave. I was protecting my friend. Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept her secret. She's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. That's unfair, Cassandra. We need to work together. We need to work together. Attacking him now won't help us, Cassandra. Ha! Exactly. And you better not be keeping anything else from us. Ugh. I understand. I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just... Go. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, she'd be dead too. You people have done enough to her. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I'd just explained what was at stake, if I'd just made him understand, but I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. No, you didn't. I'm such a fool. What if it had been different? We're all fools, Cassandra. Well, that's true, but what if it had been different? What if you hadn't believed him and you'd tracked Hawk down? Honestly, Hawk might not even have agreed to become Inquisitor. She supported the Mage Rebellion after all. She wouldn't have trusted me for a second. But this isn't about Hawk, or even Varric. Not truly. I should have been more careful. I should have been smarter. I don't deserve to be here. Have you looked at our Inquisition, Cassandra? We're all fools here. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me feel better? More at home, maybe. I want you to know, I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk or the hero of Ferelden, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. You're not what I'd pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less than nothing. Okay, so the, the hero of Ferelden is your protagonist from Dragon Age Origins. Won't go into that either, but um, 
Yeah. So, okay. Um, I think now we're going How to... How do you know they here? should be... Okay, let's see. I was trying to listen to his conversation. Um, Inquisitor? Inquisitor. Let's head back to the war table and see if we can maybe open up the specializations. If not, we're going to go ahead and um, start another area and we'll go from there. It doesn't look like anything was done. So find the warden. We could do that. We could do... I mean, this is a continuation. You read the report. It was unusual. Is he always so blunt? <laughs> yes. Not sure what he's talking about, but investigate the Frostback Basin. I don't want to do that. Um, all right. So let's go this way. Let's see what's over here. Venatory activity, Western approach. Um, exalted Plains. Imprise du Lyon. I tell you what, this might be the perfect time to go ahead and start the ideal scene. Are you all right? Oh, Liliana? wait. <sighs> Are you? I suppose not. Haven was trying. I love these little sideline banters. There's a lot of that with um, Dragon Age in general. Um, and I think this is a little more significant because they talk about what happened at Haven quite a bit. Um, so you can still understand they're, that they're grieving um, and trying to decipher what happened in their heads, each of them in their own way. So I, I just like this banter at the, work, the war table anyways, and then even out in the world while we're, we're questing. There's a lot of back and forth, and you get to understand some of the relationship that your companions have with each other. Like, you missed a lot of it, but Varric has um, back and forth with Cassandra a lot, and you can kind of hear the tension. Well, you, not kind of. You can hear the tension um, in their conversation between each other because of this underlying... Um, let's go back to... What Varric, the conversation with Varric and Cassandra in the loft, they obviously Cassandra's upset. More or less, she's upset because Varric lied to her. But in a sense, Cassandra understood that it was her fault because she was not clear to Varric why she wanted to find Hawk. Hawk um, was under Varric's protection, protection as a friend because he didn't know what Cassandra wanted from from her. Um, she'd been through a lot already, and if you play Dragon Age 2, or if I play Dragon Age 2, you'll see her um, journey is not happy. <laughs> I don't think at all. There's a lot of pain, a lot of loss, um, and so she tries to deal the best way she can, and Varric is kind of this overly protective, in a good way, friend, um, and so he did what Varric does and spins a tail to make it seem like he, first of all, has no idea where she went. He tells what he knows. But after that, what happened during her tale of woe, um, after that, he's like, yeah, I don't know. Um, so what the, um, the Seekers thought, Seekers being Cassandra, um, was because the her hero of Arellan disappeared she thought that okay well now that um, Hawk disappeared this must be tied in with what's going on and when she finds out otherwise she's upset and she doesn't really know why she's upset with Varric except for she thinks oh he lied to me so I'm upset but that was a little more than you lied to me uh, maybe that was um, a little bit of I failed 
Um, I think she realizes that as a seeker, they don't fail. And she failed because she failed in her line of questioning. Um, she failed to communicate what her purpose was of finding Hawk or needing to know where Hawk was. Um, and so, yeah. Anyways, I digress. Gain or Orzammar's friendship. Our uh, emissaries have returned. Orzammar has pledged to our cause. Some of the most form formidable warriors from the Legion of the Dead, according to the king, they are veteran darkspawn hunters, absolutely fearless. The king also graciously offered to share Orzammar's wealth. He recognizes the threat Corpheus poses. So it looks like we had a rune here. Darian's uh, request came back in. Uh, Dorian, did I say Darian? Dorian's leads were effective. The Inquis Inquisition found several locations where these Venatori could be hiding. Advanced camps, purpose unknown. If you wish to deal with these mages, I'm certain Dorian would be pleased. I'll mark the locations on your map should you pass by any on your travels. So there are some areas um, that show up in parts that we've already explored. So we need to go back to those places anyways. So that means we can actually do this. I can assure instruction for the legions who want to join, but we can expect the Inquis Inquisitor to remain a leader while training with a subordinate. She is a figure of inspiration and should rightly be one of aspiration. Promoting a specialist from within ra the ranks seems lacking. With due respect to our people, the needs of Harold are so specific. I recommend looking outside for the best com combat specialists to be found, regardless of their affiliation. Sir Moore's quarter master so this is justine uh, josephine's um specialty so she's going to recruit uh so we're going to we're going to go ahead and assign her to that and uh once we leave here we'll see that come in i think our next move is to do um i think we're going to go ahead and do some dlc because this, these are kind of, these are side DLCs. Um, they kind of tie in with the story, but they don't. But um, they're kind of cool, just in the, you know, it's cool stories uh, in themselves. So we're going to do that. Yeah. And here we go. Here they come. I think there's like three or four of them. Three. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and talk to them because I have to figure out what specialization... Specialization... Oh, there's Sigrid. Um, I want to... Or what tree I want to specialize in. Um, I think they're down here. I think. I could be wrong. Yeah, this looks like one. Oh, your trainer. Commander Helene, your trainer. Yeah, okay. Let's talk to her. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. I am your trainer. Yes. I am your trainer. You said that. Good, because it has been a long journey. The cause is just, and if we don't start soon, you won't have time to learn. Okay. <clears throat> I am your trainer. <laughs> Are you alright? You seem a little... scattered. Yeah. It's nothing. I'm just a little fatigued. It's nothing. Thank you. I was charged with studying the breach and the subsequent rifts to discover how they affected traditional disciplines. I was enthralled. So were the 19 others. I presume. They're dead. They learnt the power, but couldn't wield it. Rift Mage Inquisitor, the forces are incredible. And with training, you will be incredible. I know how not to die, and I can teach it. It's incredible. <laughs> okay, rifts are a recent phenomenon. The rifts were triggered by the breach. There's already a school of magic. A school? No, yes. Sort of. The holes in the veil flooded us with magic, and that can be used. It changed some rules, modified them, enough that the careless inverted themselves, old forces and new forms. 
Others will try, their results will vary, but you will have the best instruction. Because your trainer has already taken the risk. The price has been paid. Yeah, and who told you to study the rifts? Who charged you with studying magic from the rifts? The mages collective. I did not just say that. Yes, I did say it, and we're proud to help. We are nimble, we could move quickly and commit people to this rift magic. Many people. Their lives made it stable and safe. We're very proud. Why is this like a good discipline? Tell me why this would best suit me. You are the Inquisitor. And? You deserve power that casts your enemies aside with the abandon of a creative force. Crushes them with your very will. That is the promise. Who better than you? You are the Inquisitor. Hmm. Okay, show me how to begin. Very well. Show me how this should go. It goes places you have been and some you have not. That is necessary. So the price is not paid twice. Follow the instruction and you will know the way. You'll understand the power. Then I'll show you more. After all, I am your trainer. Okay. So basically, um, I'll have to gather these items and bring them back to her and then she will train me. Let's talk to V.S. Anaxos, which is very Deventer. He's wearing, wearing very Deventer robes. Inquisitor, I heard a tapping. My skills are required. Okay. And you are? Speaker Vios Anaxas. Anaxas. I have come from Navarra. Oh, he's Navarran. the dead. Oh. Welcome them, and they will serve your cause. Okay, so this is necromancy, which I'm not interested in, but we'll talk to him. Excuse me? You speak for who? The dead. Many assume that they have misheard. I am of the Mortalitazi. We tend to those who have passed and revere their lives by honoring them in death. The mortalitazi. when the living are threatened, we give the bodies of the dead physical purpose once more. Necromancy, Inquisitor. The dead will serve for them. Yeah. So you raise the dead. You're saying you can bring the dead back to life? Of course not. The souls of our departed cross the fade to be with the Maker. The body is left empty. Then, what is it that you do? In the Grand Necropolis, we would usher in a displaced spirit of the Fade, eliminating imbalance. But this is war. Every battlefield has one thing in abundance, death. I turn the bodies of enemies into weapons against them. We do not manipulate the living. We make use of the dead. And this sounds like blood magic. You're a mage who manipulates life. How is this not blood magic? Blood magic consumes life. It tears at the living to manipulate and destroy. It is a cancer among our kind. And this we isn't? We honor life by venerating the dead. We give their mortal form purpose. In combat, perhaps only for a few moments, but that is still more than they had. More than opposing you normally allows. Hmm, mortality. What is a mortality? We are the caretakers of the Grand Necropolis of Navarra. For the treasured relative, we usher a spirit of the Fade into the void of their mortal form. It honors them both. But when enemies threaten the living, we turn death into a weapon of war instead of merely the result. And why is this a good discipline? Tell me why this would best suit me. It is not for everyone. Yet we all reach beyond life. You have already killed many out of necessity. To stop at death is wasteful. Death can make allies of enemies. Death can rend the battlefield. Death can terrify. People will fear me. Don't you want to terrify? Fear means there are fewer to fight next time. Fear means lives are saved, if that is your concern. Uh, show me what's involved. I'm ready to learn what you know. Then your journey begins as others end. The steps are small, but vital. There is instruction and veneration. Then you'll return. We shall see what this life holds for you. Okay. All right, and last but not least, Commander Helene. Hold and declare, Inquisitor. What do you mean? 
I ask your intent. I was summoned to oversee training, and I would know my charge. I am your commander in this matter. Commander Helene. Thank you for coming, Commander Helene. Commander will suffice, recruit. I teach the skills of the Knight Enchanter. It is a rank. It is a life. Understanding its hierarchy is the first step. You already know this. You were not made Inquisitor and then taught to lead. <clears throat> I will teach you how to rise to your place. How to join your warriors, Spectral Blade in hand. How to command the ranks while standing beside them. Are you ready? An elf is a human rank. Human rank. Mm, let's ask. Commander is the title I associate with human forces. Knight Enchanter has roots in elven tradition, but it has utility in every tradition. There are no borders for the mage who wields a spectral blade. There is respect and there is fear. Alright, where have you served? Who granted your rank? What forces have you served with? I cannot say. Then how do I know you're capable? You know because I have told you. And I will teach you the same authority. Okay, so... Why is this a good discipline? Tell me why this would best suit me. I cannot. Only you know if you are fit to lead with more than maps. Hmm. Do you have the metal to raise a blade in Grand Malay? To have your presence make heroes of your charges. This is a path for leaders. You tell me if you are worthy. Hmm. Okay, show me what's involved. I'm ready to learn what you know. Then we will begin the simple steps, recruit. And we shall see what heights you reach. You have a task, a simple construction. Go, learn, and return. Soon you will lead from the front. Soon you will command. Okay, so we have three uh, specializations that we can look into. Um, let's see, Inquisitor's Path is right here. So we could be the Way of the Necromancer, the Night Enchanter, or the Way of the Rift. I think I'm going to go with Rift Mage. Um, I don't know about melee. Melee might be fun. But I'm thinking I kind of want to go, well, I don't know. We could still do both, and we can do both. I do need to kill some Venatori for this, which we would be doing anyways. I already have the ring velvet, so it's just a matter of getting the tomes. Um, and this would be Lazarite and Wisp Essences, which can be easily gotten in well i don't know about this if either way we're going to be finding these things and i just want to get this done but uh we do have a couple of these to do uh here lies the abyss um wicked eyes wicked hearts that is the banquet and we have the inner circle these are our companion quests what i want to do is do the deep roads um, finish up the elder, the emerald graves offline. And what I'll do is, um, go ahead. No, I'm going to start the deep road today. Cause like I said, this is going to be kind of an extended, um, episode. Although I've been recording mm. this, this might be okay. So the next time around, we're going to go ahead and start the deep roads, but offline, what I want to do is make some more armor because I think what we need is some armor upgrades. I think that's why we are kind of hurting in the Emerald Graves, Graves with the Rift. So I want to do that, go back to the Emerald Graves, clear that out, and then when you guys see me next time we'll be in the Deep Roads because we're definitely going to need the extra oomph down there because if I remember correctly that was some difficult um, questing. So, yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this so far. Let me know what your opinion on the specializations. Um, what I'm going to do off camera, too, is respect all my uh, crew to their their um, specific uh, special specs, which are um, basically what she has. Well, obviously, the mages would have what she has. Um, Vivian is a night enchanter. Dorian is a necromancer and um, Solas is a rift mage. So, 
yeah. All right, guys. Let me know what you think. Sorry about yelling into the microphone. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this um, this this <laughs> episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. I did it there. All right. I'll talk to you later. Ciao.